Welcome back. As recruitments across the region show signs of picking up, what are the new dynamics at play? What are the factors that international talent considers before planning a return to Dubai and the GCC? Well, to discuss this, we're joined by Christo Daniels, the Managing Director of Morgan McKinley UAE. Welcome to the show today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, to start off with, how has the recruitment industry fared since the crisis? Well, I think we've seen a reasonable amount of decent economic news coming out of Dubai at last, which is really good to hear. Obviously, the Dubai world um, and uh, the IMF as well has obviously put out some good news and uh, re-forecast our growth levels for the UAE. So, you know, we're pretty happy about that, and I think it's translating into the HR sector as well. People are starting to talk about rebuilding, they're starting to use the language of, of growth again, which is fantastic news, and um, several studies, I think, have backed that up in the, in the recent past. Um, but I think, you know, it's always, as with anything, you know, you exercise a bit of caution. We realise that, uh, that budgets for 2011 are now being planned for and therefore people can start to look at their manpower headcount once again. Definitely. Um, so, I mean, Brand Dubai has taken a bit of a bashing since yes. the downturn. So what do you think is needed to sort of promote that brand image? And um, in terms of industry, what do we need to focus on? We at Morgan McKinley are very much a, a financial services related recruiter. We, we, we've got a very much a generalist brand in IQ selection at the moment, but um, we're aligning ourselves now with a more global professional network of offices. And what we can do as a business to help that uh, process is actually to try and cross market across, uh, across, uh, across various different industries, you know, into Asia. We have fantastic coverage in the UK. Um, and we have designated people on the ground in the UK and Asian off offices um, to actually promote Dubai as a, a financial and a social destination to, um, to, to our candidates. So it's a good way of working. Yeah, definitely. Um, so you're also involved in an amortisation programme as yeah. well. Tell us, tell us a bit about that. Well, we've been working with um, a number of both uh, government and uh, financial services institutions for some time now. We've provided them with, um, we've certainly helped them with their graduate programmes and now those people are getting more experience. They're three or four years into their career um, and they're looking for the next move. So we're obviously, we at Morgan McKinley are obviously in a position to be able to help them to, uh, to develop their career into, into management. Definitely. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's one step that the government really is trying to push as well, isn't it? Something yes. that, that the recruiters definitely need to focus on. Yeah, I think so. And I think, you know, the, 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 the quota system is not going to stop. You know, I think all recruiters need to be aware that, um, you know, there are some fantastically qualified and talented UA nationals out there. Definitely. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, there is still the spectre of unemployment amongst uh, UA nationals. Um, so it's up to us as recruiters to really um, promote the best possible opportunities for them that we can. Definitely. So it's promoting Brand Dubai within itself as well as sort of outside the country as well, definitely. Yeah, that, that, that's right. And, and, you know, I think Dubai is starting to recover. People are st starting to reconsider it as a, as a destination of choice. And, you know, we speak to a lot of our um, candidates and clients in our, in our Asian offices in Singapore, in Tokyo, in Hong Kong and in Sydney. Um, and what we're what we at Morgan, Morgan McKinley are trying to do is actually um, make it very easy for people to move across continents um, and you know offer them that specialist advice um, in terms of visa restrictions, in terms of getting them set up in each of their respective countries. It is that gl global network, isn't it? it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, um, in terms of um, sort of local, I mean, not local talent, um, international talent, what needs to be done to, to draw that? That, that high standard of ta talent to the region? In terms of, sorry, can you repeat so, the question? Yeah, so how can Dubai better attract, how can Dubai better attract um, talent to the region? Well, I think? I, I, I think, you know, certainly what we've done as a business is we've held roadshows with um, our candidate base, people that are looking to move into not only the financial services sector, but also um, across our other, other disciplines as well, sales, marketing and support, yeah. um, technical, construction and engineering professionals. We bring them all together in a room and, and we have, um, as I said, designated professionals to actually talk to them about the benefits of moving to Dubai yeah. and the problems that, that they might face and that they might encounter as a result. Definitely. Well, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for. Thanks so much for coming in. It's been great no speaking problem. with you. Okay. Thank you. Well, that's it from the business desk. You can contact us, though, at ib at city7tv.com. Up next, Natasha Thomas is back with the news with the details of the expat Mexican communities' celebrations of the Day of the Dead.